and Oyer. They're playing 4 4 2 as well. Release the Huda, Loey, Silva, and De Las Cuevas. Torres just a bit behind Oriol Riera, and Oriol Riera has been the sensation so far this season for Osasuna. He really has uh, scored the goals for them that um, have kept them out of the bottom three for much of the season, but they are still very much in that relegation fight and will be right to the end, you suspect. They, of course, got rid of uh, Mendilibar at the start of the season. They were the first team to sack their manager, and uh, Javi Gracia not doing, a not doing a bad job at the moment. And this is a nice distraction for them. The winners of this game will play either Espanyol or Alcocon. Not sure which is worst of the two, because Alcocon, of course, bring back very bad memories for um, Real Madrid supporters. They knocked them out in 2009. So we're underway. Real Madrid kicking from left to right as we look. Ball play 4-2. from the Real Madrid supporters. Ball goes all the way back to, to uh, Riesco. Benzema in search of his 100th goal tonight. He's on 98 in, um, I think, just about 200 games. 208 games, so a goal every other game. It's not quite Ronaldo standard, but... Uh, of uh, Riesco's goal. He was uh, superb at the weekend. They didn't cover themselves in glory, Real Madrid, against Celta Vigo. And uh, Luis Enrique's team were unlucky to go home with nothing, but one man who was uh, on the money, and uh, I don't know if that's maybe a consequence of so many seasons in the Premier League and uh, going right through the... December period without any without any stopping. He really did look uh, in a different gear to most of the rest of the Real Madrid side. Modric, wonderful signing. Is Cristiano Ronaldo? is very much Hesse alongside Benzema and Ronaldo keeping his place out on the left-hand side. Marcelo wins the throw. side taken by Iramendi to Ramos. wonder what Iramendi Ira thinks of uh, Xabi Alonso staying on for another two, possibly three seasons. Brought in in the summer at a great expense. Real Madrid paid his buyout clause. In the end, they ended up paying around 40 million all in. And 
The idea, of course, is that he comes to replace Xabi Alonso, but the club have decided they can't do it. They can't make that change immediately. Maybe there'll be a period of time when the two play together. Marcelo plays the ball back to Iga Casillas. Iga Casillas, of course, is or was a father 22 days ago to youngs to uh, son Martin. Here's Casse. Still Casse. Through to Benzema. Well, that's just going to come away with it. Well, he hasn't played a great deal this season, but when he's played Hesse, he's made an impact. He scored at the Camp Nou in Barcelona in Real Madrid's defeat to Barcelona. He scored out in Doha in, Jan in the uh, January 2nd friendly against Paris Saint-Germain. Made a big difference at the weekend against Celta Vigo. There's another goal he scored that for a moment escapes my, my mind, but... Suddenly got th people thinking that maybe he, even more than Morata, although it was Morata's superb pass to Hesse that uh, created the goal in Doha in that friendly. Morata on the bench, as I say tonight. Here's Iramendi. Bale, back to Iramendi. Out to Arbeloa. Slip through to Alvaro Arbeloa. Joked at the weekend that uh, he'd been the one who uh, injured Gareth Bale. Of course, he was the one who injured Gareth Bale. Training gun incident. Well, it wasn't an incident, it was a, an accident in, in training. Kicked Bale and. Uh, with a bruised calf, he missed uh, three weeks' worth of football. Arbelo, of course, was also the player responsible for Casillas being out last season when he accidentally broke a finger in his, uh, in his hand in one game. Here's Modric. Forward to Marcelo. Doesn't quite get there, though. Now to Oriol Riera. Shot comes in, Casillas gets down well at his near post. It was Thehuda with the effort, the former Alcocom player. <laughs> Thehuda's cross needs to be dealt with, Ramos gets it away. Good effort from Alvaro Zahudu. He was a Las Palmas player, not an Alco player. Before signing two seasons ago, oh yeah, we'll take the throw. Casillas rolls the ball out to Pepe. Pepe and Ramos still very much the first choice centre halves. Varane, of course, is still injured. He's around just over a week away, maybe from coming back to full training. I don't think they'll rush him back into the side. They'll want him fit for the quarter-final stages onward to the Champions League. I'm sure that's the plan. They have a reasonably not 
wouldn't be right to use the word easy, but uh, the fact that they drew Schalke and not Manchester City as Barcelona did certainly is in their favour in the Champions League. Here's Casillas with the goal kick. to Iramende, forward to Gareth Bale. Marcelo back to Modric. Every man behind the ball for Osasuna. What they don't want, every man that is apart from Oriol Riera who's chasing this one, what they don't want is uh, the situation that uh, Itafi, for example, find themselves in ahead of their second leg, 4-0 down. They want to go back to El Salah with a chance at least of getting past Real Madrid and into the next round. And Madrid, by the same token, will be very, very keen tonight to have this pretty much finished and wrapped up because, as I mentioned earlier, they don't have a great record playing us sinner in Pamplona. Pamplona here's Loe forward to Oriol, to Oriol Riera. Roberto Torres is dispossessed. Here comes Ira Mendy. Forward to Ronaldo. Benson inside the area. Jose claims that that got a touch on somebody. of course why Real Madrid are not particularly keen on allowing Morata to go on loan is that they don't really have another number nine or not at least no one who really wants to play there Hesse could probably play there he played there last season for Real Madrid B team Ronaldo could certainly play there Bale has played there in the past as well but no one really wants to Morata is a proper number nine a proper centre forward here's Arbeloa could even make an argument for Benzema not being an out-and-out number nine and also preferring to, to maybe or playing off someone or playing wide. Here's Ronaldo. Modric. the throw off of the boot of Loi. Hesse wins the corner. It's been a long time since Real Madrid produced a young player who then graduated to the first team and stayed in the first team. No one really since Raul and Guti and Inca Casillas. They've produced plenty of good young players in, the time, in that time, but they've all been sold. Negredo, Mata, Soldado. All three of them now in the Spain squad. There's a player down for us as soon as 
flattening at Ribas. 15 minutes played almost, and it's still Real Madrid and Los Angeles now. No chances, no clear cut chances yet. by Jesse. So far, so good for us to see that. The 75 minutes of this, and they'll be more than happy. Modric forward to Ronaldo. Gets past three red-shirted players and plays in Hesse. Hesse draws the keeper, goes over. Big decision for the referee, and he's pointed to the penalty spot. And he's surrounded by Osasuna players. Now, has he been overruled by the linesman? I think he's changed his mind. Well, there's a yellow card come out. Well, this is all very confusing. It now looks as if he's, he's booked to say, which would be quite absurd because just because it isn't a penalty doesn't mean it was a dive. In fact, looking at the replay, he gets the ball, he also gets the player, so it's neither a penalty nor a dive. Chaos and confusion still reign. The linesman, I think, has got Osasuna out of jail. And in the melee that followed, Hesse was booked. Marcelo. Gets the ball, gets the man. Referee goes from getting it wrong the first time by giving the penalty to getting it wrong again by booking Hesse for the dive. Swinging free kick, headed past the goalkeeper by Benzema. Goal number 99 of his Real Madrid career and making it Real Madrid 1. Osasuna nil on 18 minutes. Well, after that let off for Osasuna when the linesman overruled the referee's penalty decision. Modric's free kick is dispatched by Benzema and they are behind. Well, how will they respond? You come with a game plan to defend, not to concede, to go back home with a clean sheet, clean sheet if it's all possible. You're 1-0 down after, well, they held out for 18 minutes. With limited striking resources, I'm not sure they have another game plan. Keep the score down. Here's Modric. He's dispossessed in midfield, but the referee, who's not having a great game so far, 
decides that that's a free kick. Suggestion that Benzema was offside. He doesn't look it there. Ramos does, but it was Benzema's header. Cristiano Ronaldo is over the ball. It's a long, long way out, but... Well, that conversation between Benzema and Ramos suggested that maybe there's a training ground drill that we're going to see here. But uh, the way Ronaldo is shaping up, it looks as if he's just going to absolutely smack it. That's what he does, and it goes worldwide. See Benzema score too many of those goals. And you don't see Osasuna concede too many as well if one of their strengths is defending set plays at a decent side in the air. Ronaldo back to Iramendi looking for Gareth Bale. Ball goes beyond him. the ball back to Arribas, now to Raul Loe, four to Roberto Torres, out to Cejudo. Ramos sends it back to Casillas, who hasn't had a great deal to do so far, he plays the ball out to Marcelo. Mendy looks for Modric, doesn't find him. Pepe's pass also goes astray, but Arbeloa now finds Gareth Bale. Bale got a hand in the face there, but he did find uh, Modric. His pass is overhit, won't reach Ronaldo, or will go beyond Ronaldo. challenge there that was ignored by the referee Ronaldo racing away now tries to play that through to Karim Benzema Benzema's taken a knock from the captain Flanya here's Loe forward to Modric. Ball over the top four, Arbeloa to chase.
Cristiano Ronaldo's pass goes astray. It's going to be difficult to break down Osasuna tonight because the fact that it's a two-legged game means that despite having gone behind so early, they don't have to now come out and leave spaces behind and look for a goal because one nil for them wouldn't be the worst result. Abelou's clearance goes back to Casillas. forward to Ronaldo. Hesse is now operating on the left. Ronaldo is alongside Benzema. Bale looks for Hesse and finds him. Modric to Yaramende. Well, wants it back from Yaramende, shoots instead and shoots well wide. Still taking a little bit of getting used to for Gareth Bale, the fact that he isn't the focal point of this team. Don't say that in, a, in any way against him, but he was the player that every single Tottenham player looked for. And that's obviously not the case here. They don't release him early. Sometimes they don't release him at all. The pass goes to somebody else. Andre Villas-Bow was commenting recently that he was more effective when Ronaldo wasn't in the team because then he was... Uh, given the ball a lot more. Modric looking for Ronaldo, but in steps Flanyo. And here's Silva. Roberto Torres is out on this near side, if he can be found. Damir goes infield instead, and Modric gets in ahead of Loe. Here is Torres, but Arbelo gets there first. Pepe to Iramendi. Iramendi back to Casillas. Time is penalised.
it into Iki Kasia's right hand corner, but in the end he sees it past the post. Bale ahead of him, back to Luka Modric, Bale go, that was a typical example of Bale not being given the ball, he went there for the ball over the top, it never came, back they play it to Pepe, you can't help but think he would have been more comfortable last season under Jose Mourinho when getting it forward as quickly as possible was very much the plan, it's all a little bit more elaborate this season, Ramos, Looking for Ronaldo in fine Hesse, he slides it to Ronaldo, but a very good interception from Arribas, and Ronaldo misses out. Cristiano Ronaldo, who we think will be given the award of the, goal, the Ballon d'Or on Monday. They got on the end of that one as well. It's been cleared. Arbelo to Marcelo. Marcelo through almost to Ronaldo, but goes beyond him. Forward to Fehudo. Back to Oyer. And now with Damien. Arbelo intercepts. You know, Mendy can't quite get the ball under control. And Pepe and Ramos between them send it back to Ike Casillas. a free kick, Silva is penalised, now this is definitely in Ronaldo territory, he also got an elbow in the back of the head for his problem, for his trouble.
supporters just behind that goal in more danger than uh, Matteo Riesco. Didn't play particularly well at the weekend, Ronaldo. He still scored twice. With what, what was his uh, 300, 399th and 400th goal in football? including Sporting, Manchester United, Portugal and Real Madrid. In uh, I think it was about 685 games, so an incredible strike there. Here's Torres, Arbeloa dispossesses him. Plays the ball to Ramos. Arbeloa has been pinglized. out to Modric and here's Marcelo Benzema wants the ball played early doesn't reach him Say he looks for Bale again, finds Bale, Bale turns and shoots, this might drop to Ronaldo, the flag has been raised. Say Benson makes the run. Mentioning Pepe. Another Pepe has uh, been given a new job tonight. Pepe Mel, new manager of West Bromwich Albion, did such a good job at Betis. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo tries to find Benzema. In the, end, the uh, constant sale, sale of players. And the injuries that he had to put up to were just too much, but uh, Betis fans will wish him well. This is a decent run from Gareth Bale, he thinks about the shot. Well, that is his speciality, cutting in from that right-hand side and... ...striking the ball with his left foot, but... Uh, ...they've lived a charmed life in the, in the first half, the supporters behind that goal, he's going to keep the match ball anyway. What with Ronaldo's three kicks and uh, Bale shooting. Here's Arby Lower towards Modric, doesn't find him though, picked up in midfield by Silva. Ball over the top for Riera. Pepe clears with Casillas coming out towards his central defender. the old Alco Complera. I was thinking of earlier when I said that Sefudu played there. Oriol Riera, two seasons, two very prolific seasons at Alcorcon. 18 goals last season. The corner comes in. It's, uh, well, it goes beyond everybody. Put back into the box. Well, it was Delos Cuevas with the cross. And, uh, oh, yeah popping up from right back, who very nearly got on the end of it. Here's Gareth Bale with Arbelo on the overlap. Back 
to Bale. Bale tries to pick out Ronaldo at the back post. Here's Modric. Modric gives away the foul. Just the one yellow card so far in this first half, and it was uh, the wrong decision, and I'm sure it will be rescinded when it's looked at, if it's looked at. Hesse going down under the challenge from Riesco. First, the referee gave a penalty. He then, on the advice of his linesman, booked Hesse for a dive. And as often as the, often is the case, it was neither a dive nor a penalty. It didn't matter because a couple of minutes later, Benzema headed in Modric's free kick, and that's what gives Real Madrid the lead here. Chance to run at Arbelo. Arbelo wins the free kick. I wonder if uh, Alvaro Arbelo will be playing alongside Sergio Ramos next, or this coming summer, in the World Cup. He was, of course, in the last tournament that Spain won. He was questioned at times, but he ended up with a winner's medal. As things stand, he's still Spain's first choice right back. He may find the strongest competition comes from his teammate, because, of course, Carvajal is maybe someone that Vincent uh, Del Bosque is starting to look at. Here's Benzema through to Hesse. to take the free kick short to Raul Loe. Back out to Damia. Vieira, he's got Torres close to him, but Pepe makes the clearance. forward to Benzema, a touch on for Hesse. He needs to be careful, Hesse. That would be uh, ridiculous if he was actually sent off tonight because of that earlier yellow card. Marcelo, Benzema, Bale and Hesse ahead of him. Plays the ball instead back to Ronaldo. <laughs> Points him back to Marcelo. And the clearance from Oriol Riera goes the wrong way. And Real Madrid have a corner with just over a minute left here of the first half. It's taken short to Benzema, back to Modric from about the area where he delivered the, the free kick for the goal. Is Bale to Marcelo. Ronaldo, Modric, ball over the top for Cristiano Ronaldo. And in the end, Riesco came out and made the save. The flag
flag had been raised anyway. Ronaldo was offside. the half-time whistle well I wonder if anyone will have a word with the referee as the two teams leave the pitch about that uh, yellow card that he gave Hesse but as I say it didn't matter too much the penalty decision was changed uh, and just a minute after Benzema scored it was 19 minutes when he headed in Morat when he headed in Modric's free kick Real Madrid are comfortable here it's not been sparkling football but they've done enough to be ahead we'll be back for the second half but at half-time here